I often feel trapped in my own heart. heart. Apart, Apart from the from parts of me capable of loving, loving you completely, you completely, I feel schizophrenic. One minute wanting to treat you sweetly, but in the next, deceit be beckoning. Everything, Everything ebbs and flows. flows. It doesn't, it doesn't seem, seem mature, mature to, believe to believe we could, we could be, be always perfect. perfect. I want to open up and communicate more. Still, my heart pulls me back and whispers, what for? It seems even lovers battle. Even big men are fragile. Can't have you taking me for granted, thinking I'm a bit too romantic. Like, oh, I got this man whipped to the only us that exists. This is the pieces, pieces of my heart that, that persist. persist. I mean, really. Who wants to be in a relationship where he loves the woman and the woman loves herself? How does he let her know she makes him melt when he imagines a mutual sentiment isn't felt? Coupled up, but being alone with a woman, but on his own. So whatever places he may roam, he's preoccupied about the stability of home. And jealousy is too weak of an emotion to exhibit. So he inhibits his pain. Deep inside, really pays it a visit. Every man has a code and he goes out of his way to live it. I want us to be two parts of one whole soulmates, if you will. I don't want to wonder what you will or won't do. I want to have every bit of confidence in you and us. What keeps me trapped inside my heart is the fear of trusting you no matter what. And once I escape, I'm no longer safe. Like lowering a force, force field. field. In some cases, paranoia is a skill. And surrendering completely to love means giving you the capability to kill my spirit whenever you feel like it. Whenever you get tired, shut me down. While you look around for something else after I believed in us enough to step outside my heart and realize I'm standing there by myself. But they say if you don't go out on a limb, you can't get the fruit. And if I live in fear, then I'll never know the truth. So I'll submit to what I'm holding, what inside. I'm holding inside. I love you. I love you. Verbal attack. That's me inside your poem. An unwilling guide, an outline used as a boilerplate artist, a target for plagiarizers who hack away at my innards. Honored to be an inspiration for beginners, but confused about why I'm so misused by veterans who should be better than copies. Sloppily, Sloppily regurgitating what they think they, they, think they, they heard, heard. Mis misinterpreting what they think they see, with the misguided belief that it's just a style when in actuality it's me, when in actuality it's my personality. I keep wondering, but who are you? No. Who are you? Who are you really? What's your story? What case? that your own heartbeat dictates. Speak with the weight of your life, your trials and errors, terrors and fears, because this is a verbal attack. You've got my life trapped in your throat, and I'm dying to get out of here. When I want to see what's inside you, I want to feel it for what keeps you alive through your particular adversities. It's got to hurt, but it's worth the catharsis. Don't be afraid to let your heart split and tell us what's inside. They've already seen mine. Find what scares you the most. Stripping isn't always comfortable, but you either tell the story or you don't. Verbal attack. attack. To, step to step on a stage, stage and perpetrate a fraud. Lies used to perpetuate, to perpetuate the demise. Times to die. Hope to receive lessons, lessons from a life, life that's that uniquely, uniquely yours. yours. Who could possibly want to watch you play the chords I've already played? This is a poetry reading, not a play. Stepping on a spoken word stage, stage is a prima facie insinuation to the listener. You're determined to be brave. Verbal attack. If you feel you like backbone, then save what's not truly yours for home. I mean, keep them in your journal and that's some point while alone you'll reach an epiphany. Look inside your writings and see what's actually me. Give your work a poet me. Until everything foreign is removed, the important thing about excavating talent is remembering that every individual is voluminous. Speak unique. Reach into your viscera. Give us the reasons for your being. Interpret your worries. What upsets you? Offsets you? Resets you? Settling for sounding like everyone else makes the entire art form that less special. Bring your full soul Bring your forth full soul when you come forth. back. Because anything less is just a verbal attack.